Finally today, we drive along the coast to St. Augustine, Florida, North America's oldest European settled community. We drive out to the cool wooded suburbs to meet Louis Bartoletti, a golf course designer who spends much of his time creating some of America's most challenging fairways. Today though, he and I are teeing off on a home illumination project. So what are we doing today? I know it involves some lighting, some outdoor lighting. Well, in the back, I got a real nice... Back Louis explains it. that it's not only his deck that needs lighting, but also the pathway leading to it. Okay, want to show me? Sure. Come on, let's go this way. Well, we want to do a little bit of path lighting here, down the right side here. And I got a couple steps coming down, and this step's really... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah this could be a problem, couldn't it? Yeah, in so. the dark. All right. So the, the idea that it would be the path lighting would sort of just uh, follow this curve Correct. right around here. Anything else? Well, we wanted to do some... Uh, tree lighting right here. There's going to be a ground light that was going to shoot up this tree here for oh, I some like illumination. That. Yeah, I like this. Uh, and you know what the nice thing about this is? You'll also appreciate this from inside the house. You'll look out and see these trees highlighted. It's very, it's very pretty. Great. After our walkabout survey, we sit down and draw out the deck area. From this, we can determine how many fixtures and how much wiring we'll need. Now, these are some of the styles you can choose from. These are all driven into the, into the ground with stakes on the bottom. What, what kind of appeals to you? I really like this one here. Okay, well, this is cool. Well, we took our drawing to the Home Improvement Center and got everything we're going to need for this job. Now, this is the uh, fixture that Louis picked out to go along the pathway. Uh, it's metal, aluminum, will never rust. And what I like about this particular system is that it's very easy to assemble, just three pieces. This post goes in there, this cap goes on the bottom down here, and then everything is held in place with two set screws. We just tighten down these two set screws and we're ready to go. We begin placing the lights, remembering that our first priority is to make the pathway and steps visible at night. Mm -hmm. You had another step down here you were yes. concerned about, right? A couple of them. Okay, so let's put the second one in down there. All right, this should light up these three steps nicely yep. here. Yep. And then that one, why Last not one put up it by up the gate? by the gate? Yeah. Yeah, maybe down just a foot or so. Yeah, so it gate. doesn't hit when the gate opens. Yeah, and we don't get a shadow there. Okay, good, Perfect. Right about here. Okay, now we've got, I think we've got pretty even illumination from the top of the walkway all the way down to the bottom. And most importantly, we've got our two steps lit. Good, and it's spaced nicely. Yeah. These are three-tiered pagoda-style fixtures. Now, you notice these fins right here, they cast the light downward into uh, soft pools. They're ideal for placing along the edge of a hedge like this. So we'll put the first one right here. That's going to illuminate this area back in here, the landing. And then over here, we'll place one on this corner, again at the edge of the hedge, to uh, throw some light down on this step. This is yet another style of low voltage outdoor lighting. These are spotlights. They have a very directional beam and they're designed to highlight things like trees, plants, and architectural details. This is a 50 watt version here. This is a 20 watt. Some of these come with stakes that can be put right into the ground or a mounting plate like this that can be attached to just about any surface with screws. And this one over here is designed to be buried into the ground. This underground uplight requires us to first dig a hole then pour in about four inches of gravel to help with drainage. Okay, Louie inserts the light and makes sure that it's aimed up at the trunk and hits the tree's canopy. We fill in our hole, leaving the wire connector exposed. I decide that this next uplight should be concealed underneath the deck. Now Louie hands me the light from above while I get ready to screw it to the joist from below. Our final uplight has a stake base which is simply pressed into the soil. Now the last type of fixture that we're going to use on this project are these surface mounted deck lights. They're going to go right on the railing, right down here. We're going to put several of them around the deck. One here. Louie, why don't you put two on that side over there, so we didn't decide in our plan. And uh, I'll put this one over here. Okay, put one here. Just two wood screws and these lights are good to go. The cover just snaps right on. The low voltage power for these lights is carried by this weather resistant cable made for underground use. Each light fixture attaches to the cable with a simple screw on connector. What could be easier? Burying the cable is done most easily by using a flat garden spade. We push the spade into the ground at a 45 degree angle then raise the spade handle until it's nearly vertical. 
This creates a V-shaped trench into which the cable can be placed. Our lights and wires are all in position and ready to go. All they need now is some juice. Now this is going to supply all of the power for the lights that we're putting in today. It's a transformer. And what it does is reduce the household voltage, the normal household voltage of 120 volts, down to 12 volts. And that is what makes this system so safe. This is also the control center for the outdoor lighting system. From here, you can turn the lights on and off manually, or you can set them to come on and off automatically. Well, it's about time for our moment of enlightenment, if you will. We restore the power, wait a few minutes for dusk to arrive, and hit the switch. And do we have light? You know, I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. It's beautiful. Is it what you thought it would be? And more. Really? Yeah. Well, it did everything I expected. We got the steps and the highlighted, and these, yep. these accented yep. trees are just gorgeous. So yep. Yep. creates a very nice, comfortable feeling back there now. Yeah. Well, it was a pleasure working with you. I enjoyed working yeah, with you. Let's Thank do it you. again sometime. Let's build a golf course together. Love to. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>